Hey folks, welcome back to Blessed by G Beats. I am the G and I'm back with another video. And yes, I'm wearing the same clothes from the last video, but I'm actually recording all of these in one day. Trying to get back into the swing of things and putting out more content on the channel. February is going to mark season two. February 2021 is going to be epic. But nevertheless, let's get back into what we came here for. And this is another expansion overview. And this one is Soul Magic. And we're going to go, this is probably going to be a two-part because they released, with, along with this one, they actually released a play instrument known as Soul Sessions. So we're going to look at Soul Sessions on the next video. And I still say this is the way Native Instruments should do it to me. I cannot wait until they fix Machina Plus to where you can load up Contact and all of those play instruments, or at the very least, the play instruments, because... The play instruments are absolutely dope. And somebody correct me, maybe you can. But we're going to get into soul sessions on the next video that goes along with this expansion and matches it perfectly to where you could do entire albums with the, just this and the soul, sen soul sessions play instrument. Well, this particular uh, expansion is known as Soul Magic. And once again, just like Crate Cuts, it's very different as far as the sound goes. Um, it's made by, I think it's, I think they're called MSX2 and they specialize in, uh, vinyl samples, lo-fi samples, uh, lo-fi type of music. I mean, these guys, if you want that real dope sample sound or that lo-fi dirty gritty sound, or, you know, want to add some texture to your R&B, your trap, your hip hop, these guys are absolutely awesome, and I'm so glad that, once again, that Native Instruments has hooked up with them. They did Faded Reels, which is still one of my all-time favorite expansions. I have the overview for that particular expansion along with the play instrument they made with that. Um, it, it, it loses me at this time. Hold on a second. Uh, I wish I could remember the play instrument they made with that. But the play instrument they made with Faded Reels is dope. And then they have another one called Aquarius Earth. They may have done a couple of others, but these are the three. I'm thinking I have Aquarius Earth. I may have to do a an overview of that, even though it's an older expansion. But it's also dope for the same type of feels. These guys are dope when it comes to that old school or that lo-fi hip-hop or that crate hip-hop they are so dope so let's get into soul magic i'm sorry i don't want to do too much talking but i want to give those guys their their praise wherever possible because they do a very good job of making these let's see what the website says about soul magic it says the soul anthology five decades of authentic soul sounds acoustic kits live bass eclectic keys and organs tuned percussion and endless character including 52 machine kits 66 battery kits 14 massive presets, 18 monarch presets, and 333 drum, drum sounds plus more. And says here, Soul Magic captures half a century of ubiquitous sounds from a genre that runs deep through modern music. Add its flavor to modern productions with saturated swinging 60s kits, funky 70s bass, 80s synth stylings, and 90s neo soul sounds. Discover era-defining drums, live bass and guitar licks, quintessential vocal cuts, characterful keys, and diverse instrumentations that capture the essence of soul music down the decades to the present day. Soul Magic was created in collaboration with MSX2. It says uh, 356 loops, 333 drums, drum samples, 452 one-shots, 66 battery kits, 52 machina kits, 14 massive presets, 18 monarch presets, 260 patterns of machine exclusive, 19 drum synth presets, 20 sampled instruments, two bass synth presets, and eight projects. 70, uh, the drum sample, 74 hi-hats, 52 percussion, 57 snares, 74 kicks, 29 claps, 16 cymbals, 11 shakers, 20 toms, 1.8 gigabytes, and a partridge in a pear tree. This is another one of these expansions by Native Instruments that it is packed. It is absolutely packed with nothing but dope sounds. So, without further ado, Let's see what it do. So first of all, let's get into it. You know how I do it. 
we're going to go through all of the kits and listen to the demos of the kits, which I believe will give you a great overview of exactly what you're getting inside of this. And then we'll go over the sampled instruments, the monarch sounds, the massive sounds, and then we're going to come to the conclusion. Then you tell me what you think. So first of all, abstract 90s kit. Favorite that one, that's pretty dope. Next, back to the 70s kit. Birdsong 70s kit. I know some of you are younger, but I'm telling you some of the best music was made in the 60s, 70s, and 80s in particular. This is why you see a lot of people uh, uh, begin to go back and sample a lot of that old music. It was so dope. Next is the Chamber 60s kit. Next, Chop the 80s kit. Next, City Lights 90s kit. Next, Civil Rights 60s kit. Dope. Next is the Creepin' 90s kit. That was supposed to be something like TLC. Okay. Next is the Daydream 2000s kit. Next, Dirty 70s kit. Okay, that's dope. Next, the Drummer 60s kit. Dolce 80s kit. Tell me what are you? Tell me what are you waiting for? That sounds like it's like candy from Cameo. I see you. I see you, MSX2. Next, feel that 90s kit. Next, Phil Joy 60s kit. Whoa, this one says Finger Waves 90s kit. Man, I'm showing my age. Boy, you guys will never know, guys and girls. Finger Waves was the, things, the thing in the 90s, man. I even tried to get some. Oh, I think I did have some. Let's go. Here you MSX2, boom, boom, almost computer look, almost. All right, let's go uh, flammable 70s kit. These boys at MSX2, I'm telling you, they are so dope on these sounds, man. Next, Flint 2000s kit. Funky Donut 90s kit.
Okay, that really sounds okay. That that reminds me of Computer Love MSX2. I feel you. I'm I'm going to make a point to make a beat when I do the Soul Magic series. I'm definitely going to make a beat with that funky donut '90s kit. That's dope. Next, give you '80s kit. Oh, that's so dope. That is so dope, man. It reminds me of that Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, that 80s type feel, man. Okay, Gone So Far 2000s, kid. Mm-hmm. Next, Grayman 90s, kid. Grayman 90s, kid. Next is the Hang Loose 60s kit. That is so dope. Of course, I already had that one favorited. Next is the Hexual 80s kit. Next is the Hustle 70s kit. Next is the Justice 2000s kit. That is so dope. Justice 2000s kit. Definitely got to make a beat with that. Next is the Cast Out 2000s kit. All right. Next is the Keep It Real's 90s kit. Next is the Kiwi 70s kit. Next is the Late Night 80s kit. That is definitely 80 sound right there. That's dope. That's definitely 80 sound. Next, Long Night 80s kit. Reminds me of Lionel Richie All Night Long introduction. Long Night kit. Next, Love Circuit 80s kit. Definitely 80s. Next is the Molly Wop 60s kit. <laughs> Nile Storm 70s kit. <laughs> On Time 80s kit. That almost reminds me of Candy Girl. Y'all tell me. I could be wrong on that one. Dope, though. Next is Passion Fruit 80s Kit. <laughs> Next is the Print the 80s Kit. Print the 80s Kit. Prince. <laughs> I'm a huge Prince fan, MSX2, I'm gonna call Cap on that one. Not quite print the 80s kit, but nevertheless dope. Next is the Rembaz kit, the Rembaz 70s kit. Next is the Session 70s kit.
Next is the Skill Jot 2000s kit. Next is the Slow Jams 2000s kit. Man, I like that right there. That right there, that's dope. Next is the Samo 70s kit. Samo 70s kit. <laughs> dope. That reminds me of something I can't remember, but that's so dope. Next, Swing Lady 60s kit. The 190s kit. Next is the Times 2000s kit. Mm-hmm. Dope. Next is the Vintage 60s kit. Hey. Mm-hmm. Next is the Voodoo 2000s kit. D'Angelo, MSX2, I hear you. Next is the What A Day 90s kit. Whatever 2000s kit. Dope. Next is the Yo Body 2000s kit. That's dope. That's dope. May have to use that MSX2. May have to use that. Next is the Yo Flavor 2000s kit. Yes, yes, yes. That's dope. My cousin Terrell, he's gonna love this kit because he's a he's a singer. Uh, loves this type of music. Next is the Young Love 60s kit. Reminds me of Smokey Robinson or The Temptations or something in there. Of course, you know, Smokey wrote for The Temptations. Very dope, MSX2. Next and final on the kits is the Zulu 70s kit. All right, that does it for the kits. Those were very dope. So now let's go to the uh, instruments. Okay, so... There's 41 of these. Let me see something here. It says there's 41 of these. I'm trying to figure out what are these. It says 20 sampled instruments, but it looks like we actually have 41. So let's run through these real quick. Uh, bass synth, keep it reels, 90s. And because there's so many of these, uh, I'm going to put this on the screen and you can just watch me go down them because there's 41 so we'll just go through the sounds.
I'm going to go out on a limb, and if I'm wrong, you still get a good idea of what this sounds like, but I'm thinking if you add 19 drum synths, 20 sampled, instru uh, 20 sampled instruments, and two bass synth presets, that gives you a grand total of 41. So it looks like on this instrument or the sounds page, they actually put all 41 of those sounds together. So we just went through all 41 of the, uh, like I said, 19 drum synth presets, 20 sampled instruments, two bass synth presets. That's what we went through. So we, we have those out of the way. So all we have left now is the synth presets, 14 massive, 18 monarch. Let's go. Once again, I know I'm not going to get it, but I really wish Native Instruments would go ahead and give us some Massive X sounds, even though I know Massive is still absolutely dope. And of course, I know that it comes with Machina Plus, which I plan on getting real soon. And so I'm pretty sure they're doing that because these particular sounds, with, they're going to load up into, okay, Lo-Fi Glow is the play instrument I was thinking of earlier that goes with faded reels. But uh, you'll be able to load up these sounds with Machina Plus, and I'm pretty sure that's why they did it. So let's get into these massive sounds. First, let's get to Baby Key Main. Big Thummy Mallet. City Lights Lead, Classic EP, Courtney Tynes, 80s Stab, Field Joy Organ, Jasper 80 Clav, Late Night Bass, Love Shaper Bass, Love Circuit Bells, Fonto Bass, Ranked Powder Sub, Talk That Funk Bass. Now, I've actually played with some of these sounds. They don't sound maybe good listening to single notes, but I've played around with these, and when you load them up and put them in keyboard mode to where you can play them tuned and play chords and different things like that, these sounds are absolutely dope, man. They are absolutely dope. Uh, next, let's hit these monarchs, and then we're going to get to our conclusion. I think this is one of the hidden things of these expansions. A lot of times people forget they have presets for some of the instruments. All right, so as we get into monarch, next is, I mean, first is the ATL Soul League. Birdsong bass, Boogie Mon bass, Cool Mains, Dirty bass, Dirty bass, Dolce bass. I wonder if that's Dolce or Dulce. I'm thinking Dolce like Dolce and Cabana, but it could be Dulce bass, but nevertheless. Next is the Feel That bass. Cast Out Lead, Night Storm Sound Effects, or Night Storm SFX, Fat Back Lead, Quiet Storm SFX, Stack Lead, Steve Land Bass, Stipend Lead, Subjugate, Wilson Lead, Wonder Lead, Wonder Ball Bass. And so that's going to do it for all of the sounds. I really think, once again, Native Instruments has done a great job. Soul Magic is packed with all kinds of sounds. And we didn't even go over all the loops and things of that nature. So this kit is absolutely packed. 
So for me, in conclusion, once again, I think this is a very dope, dope buy, especially if you're someone who wants to get into lo-fi, if you want to do old school R&B, even if you're doing up-to-date music and you want to put some of that old school flavor in your beats, once again, Native Instruments, MSX2 has come through, and I think this is a very, very dope expansion. So I definitely give this the stamp of approval, and I give this once again as a must-buy, especially if you're in those genres. Um, and also, let me make sure you understand, even if you don't have Machina or Machina Plus, you can still you can still use these expansions by using the drum sound. These kits, all they did was put together the drum kits and the sounds that they already have. You can use these sounds in, uh, inside of any DAW. You can download the free contact. Well, I guess you'll be out of luck on Massive and Monarch and stuff like that. But as far as the drum sounds and the loops and some of the other samples, you'll definitely be able to use those. But if you have a Machina, this is a must buy, or if you have the complete keyboards and have that complete control software, these this is a must buy. So that's, that's all I have. It's definitely, definitely dope. So let me know if you're going to be picking this up in the next couple of weeks. So until the next video, we're gonna be doing part two. We're gonna do the Soul Sessions play instrument. So until the next video and until the next beat, keep grinding, keep inspiring. Peace.